Matchless G45, built in 1953, was a production racer based on their G9 500cc twin. In my opinion, this is one of the most beautiful race bikes ever made. The G45 was an interim bike, I think, with Matchless between the 7R Boy Racer and the G50. What it represents most to me is the absolute classic, ultimate looks of a race bike of that period, because I think they were just fine looking machines. Over the two or three years these were in production, there were about 80 of them built. Bonhams now says there's at least 40 of those in circulation. And there were an awful lot of replicas built because of course the G9, the originals are pretty rare. The principal thing that identifies this as being an original G45 is the RT frame number on it. RT stood for Reynolds tubing, and it was only dedicated to, uh, to the G45. That, and there is a strange little hook in the frame construction that again was, was exclusive to the G45. So there's no doubts in our mind that this is an original. Yeah, design feature I really like on this bike is, well, two things. The long range tank, I just think adds a lot to its great looks as what a classic race bike should look like. And also the addition of the swan neck, gooseneck bars on it, which are not your normal flat clip-ons. And for a person of smaller stature like myself, makes it a lot easier to ride. Well, the standard things on this bike from, from this particular period would be the megaphone exhausts. One of the most interesting features to me is that braking was always an issue. It's a twin leading shoe front brake, which was quite good, but it has the addition of the bacon slicer, which were these large uh, alley rims added to the front to uh, enhance the cooling, give you more cooling area. This engine would produce 50 two to 54 horsepower, I suppose, at uh, whacking 7,400 RPM. Uh, they added alley cylinders, alley cylinder heads, twin GP carburetors with uh, remote float bowl. It feels great to ride this, actually. I've ridden it at Cadwell Park and Parade. We had to do quite a lot of work to, uh, to silence the megaphone slightly to get down to 105 decibels. Um, it was fun to ride, handled good. I'm far more familiar with 7R G50, but it is the same fr frame and, and running gear as either of those bikes. What I did enjoy most was the benefit of the symphony of two exhaust pipes.